What's going on guys? This is Aaron. This channel is called Hotel Delta. Covering all things two wheels with an emphasis in Harley Davidson's. Today we're going to be covering uh, the left hand, the clutch. The recluse clutch, some of the products that come from them, some things to help you out. Mainly the automatic clutch. Have any questions, comment below. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next ride. Guys, this is a 2016 Road Glide Special. It does have the Recluse Auto Clutch in it. And this video is just a demonstration. I'm gonna go over some of their other products and whatnot. They make a lot of really cool stuff. Hope the view is good. All right guys, so the uh, Recluse Clutch you use it as if it's a normal clutch. So any operation you do, besides the starting and the stopping, is identical to how you would ride your own. Assuming you have a normal clutch. I'm gonna go through uh, downtown Green over here to kind of show you what you get with the Recluse Auto Clutch. And yes, it is, uh, what mid-January, January 18th down here, South Texas, uh, New Braunfels, Texas to be exact. And it is a frigid, oh, maybe 70 degrees right now. So sorry to the guys up north. All right, first things first, guys, coming to a complete stop. And as you can see, don't need the clutch. I am in first gear. And here's how we roll on. Simple as that. So if you're somebody who has to sit in a lot of traffic, I'm sure you can see how advantageous it is to have the Recluse Auto Clutch. Other than that, it, it's right just like normal. Oh, see, here we go. Perfect example. Coming up on a little bit of construction. Nothing to worry about because with the Recluse Auto Clutch, I cannot stall this bike. As long as those RPMs are down under, oh, 1,800, 2,000 RPMs, the auto clutch is not engaged. And I don't have to worry about stalling the motorcycle. Other than that, it rides just like a normal bike. And what a great day for a ride. So I was talking with uh, Danny over at uh, Recluse. Had some misconceptions myself, some misinformation about how you can and can't ride it with the auto clutch. Uh, man, Danny was awesome. Really walked me through a lot of their products. Very knowledgeable. I appreciate him taking his time. And uh, I think he appreciates you know me covering a little bit about the Recluse. And the reason I started covering the Recluse or wanted to do an episode on the Recluse on this channel is because I recently had a, a lady come in who was having issues with her left hand running out of strength and uh, was getting ready to get rid of her bike because the clutch was too hard to pull and uh, I said don't worry about the clutch but let's let's pump the brakes a second and take a look at some options as opposed to just dumping your bike and uh, you know talked about easy pull clutches and, and recluse clutches and kind of explain to her what she would get with the auto clutch and man her eyes perked up she uh, immediately lit up got excited and next thing you know as opposed to putting a recluse clutch into into her current bike I told her if she bought a new one I would take care of it for her and that's exactly what we ended up doing and she bought a beautiful brand new 21 Street Glide Special and as soon as that uh as soon as she comes to pick it up today, I'm sure she's going to be real excited about riding it with that brand new recluse clutch in there. So guys, perfect example here on the brakes, but not on the clutch, and it does not stall. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can't find some stop lights. So yeah, if you know somebody that's got issues with their left hand, maybe they're uh, losing strength, have some atrophy, 
maybe uh, just in general they, they don't have great use of that hand and they're looking for a way to keep on riding and ride comfortably this is a uh, one option and not just an option it could be used in conjunction with other items such as an auto shift a power shift and if you guys are power shifters what Danny told me was uh, ride it like you would your normal transmission except for starting and stopping so you can still power shift whenever you do normally the auto clutch does not make your clutch easier to pull but they do have products for that as well he also told me the uh, auto clutch is good up to about 150 foot pounds of torque it is not to be used on a dyno unless you put in the locking plate so there there is a way to run it on the dyno but if you just flat out run it it's going to spin 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 and burn it up so yeah i'm kind of uh used to coming to a stop sign in neutral got to remind myself to keep shifting back down into first so i can show you guys how this auto clutch works so uh, yeah, the auto clutch is good up to 150 foot pounds of torque, but they do make a torque, a power torque. I forget how we called it. I'll, I'll look it up and let you guys know in the video. But he said it's good up to 200 foot pounds of torque. He said, and that combined, the torque clutch combined with their throwout bearing reduces clutch pull by 60%. So if, uh, if you do have a weak hand, but maybe you're making a lot of horsepower and you're trying to find a way to keep riding and ride comfortably while you're making that massive 150 plus foot pounds of torque get the throw out get the torque clutch make all the power reduce your clutch pull by 60 percent and keep on riding so there you go first gear clutch hand is off and again, you got to give it a little bit of throttle. And this one kicks in uh, probably about 1,300, 1,400 RPMs, a little under 1,500. And it is smooth, too. It's obviously predicated by how hard you roll on the throttle, how quickly that clutch engages. But if you get used to doing it and you're nice and smooth with it, man, it engages very nicely. If you guys have any questions about recluse clutches feel free to give them a call i'll put their number down at the bottom of this video again i spoke to danny and danny was uh, very informative very helpful and he was very appreciative of me doing a video that covered their products um, we are a recluse dealer at green harley davidson we've put them on several bikes some of our employees put them on their bikes we have one gentleman in particular who uh, buys a lot of motorcycles from us and he will not let that bike leave without a recluse clutch in it. So no, it's not the only answer to uh, easy pull or auto clutch, but uh, a product that's been around a long time. If you guys rode motocross, I'm sure you knew about recluse clutches way before you started riding Harleys. They make a good product. And I gotta say, taking this little test ride is making me a fan does take a little getting used to but it's definitely a cool feature to have on a bike and especially a big touring bike like this guys I really hope you like the video please like and subscribe as we build this channel I can bring you more two-wheel content especially Harley Davidson got the 2022's the new stuff coming out here soon at the end of the month can't wait to see what all Harley's bringing. Everybody's expecting that Lowrider S to be pretty crazy, and it looks like it's gonna be. I'm really expecting to see the new Sportster with the smaller displacement motor. Pretty excited about that. If you guys have any comments, please hit me up below. Feel free to ask questions. If I can't answer it myself, I will get you an answer or somebody else will comment in with me. You guys be safe, take care, we'll see y'all next time. Guys, once again, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I learned a lot doing it, and Recluse is an excellent company. If you have any questions, give them a shout as well. 
Um, got to handle what's coming up next from Hotel Delta in next week's video. Have any questions, please comment below, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next ride.